Hi everyone, it's coming to the end of February so it's time to share my February favourites and I have everything in this little basket again. February is a very short month so I have a short list too. We'll start off with this MAC blush and it's in Fleur Power and it's a satin finish and it looks like this and I'll just do a quick and that's the blush. This is my go-to blush for February and it just gives you a very youthful flush on the cheeks. It's a corally pink shade and I think it just works well with light to medium skin tones. So I've been really loving this blush. My next item is this Garnier Eye Roll-On and it's in the anti-dark circles one so it has some colouring to it. Like this. Kind of works like a concealer. This is a very convenient item for those who don't want to wear much makeup but still want to look more awake and polished. And I just slap this on on days where I don't want to wear much makeup. So that's my next favourite. My next favourite is this. It's the Night Treatment by Bare Essentials and it's called Pure Transformation Night Treatment. Inside looks like this and this is the brush that comes with. So this product claims to give you firmer, smoother, brighter looking skin with noticeably fewer pores, improved skin tone and texture and increased luminosity. And what you do is you apply this on before you go to sleep at night and you just basically leave it on which is a very weird concept because people might think why would you wear makeup to sleep. This powder actually gives you quite a bit of coverage, I'll say medium coverage and I'll put it, so I'll put it on this hand. So if you can see slightly, I'll put it on this side. So it does have a bit of coverage and it's very light on the skin. And I find that this finish is very similar to the Bare Essentials Mineral Foundations. Sorry for the change of clothing, it's just getting really hot and humid here in Sydney. It's a bit weird because it didn't get this hot in summer but now it's suddenly really really hot. And I am wearing something underneath, I'm wearing this new single top so I'm not naked. So I'll continue on with this Bare Essentials powder. I use this treatment every other day and I do realise there is an improvement in my complexion and it does make it more bright and more vibrant in the morning. The main reason I've been really loving this is because it has been reducing my pimple scars. It's been reducing the appearance of my pimple scars and now it just looks more blended into my skin. So I've been loving this product for the month of February. My next favourite is these two coloured eyeshadows. It doesn't have to be this brand as you can see it's from Estee Lauder and I received this eyeshadow palette from my friend and I think she lost the back of it so there's no backing so I have no idea what's the shade. I've been attending a few interviews in the past month and I just think a combination of these two eyeshadows is just works great because most of my interviews are in an office environment and it's more professional and more corporate so I think a very light neutral eyeshadow combination is very appropriate I think it gives you a very polished look and it doesn't take the focus away from who you are what your skills are what your accomplishments or what your qualifications are which are very important in the interview and you can use other neutral shades for example I have one here and this is by YSL and it's just a beige nude shade and there are some in the Naked palette you can also use and it's just stick with the natural clean polished look for interviews. My last beauty favourite is this. This is the Balm Highlighter and it's the Mary Luau Manizer. I have no idea how to pronounce it. <laughs> and that's what the product looks like. That's it swatched on my finger. It's a very versatile highlighter and I use it for brightening up my eyes and obviously for highlighting. So as you guys can see it's very shimmery but not glittery. So even for oily skin like me it still works great. And the colour of the highlighter gives you a very natural glow. It isn't too obvious when you have it on the skin. So that's my last beauty favourite. My last favourite is this Pandora bracelet. My boyfriend gave me this for Valentine's Day. The chain is the oxidized silver chain. I chose this one because it looks really unique and it has a tinge of green in it when you have it under certain lights. The pendant I have is this one. I think this is from the fairy tale collection, the Cinderella one. 
and this is the horse carriage and as you can see there's a little crown on top and these little wheels here and it looks very delicate and sweet and I love fairy tales so naturally I'll love this pendant thank you guys for watching don't forget to subscribe and until next time bye